I was on a train the other day and uh, I saw a blind man with an iPhone. <laughs> I was fascinated. He's scrolling his eyes. I'm like, I'm like, how many braille apps could you possibly have? Holy oh, shit. And then I was thinking about that joke and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should start thinking about braille apps. Like, do they have braille apps? That'd be awesome. Like, blind people, like, they can feel like a booby. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I saw this guy one time on the train, he was playing a harp. On the train, on the train, not outside, not on the platform, on the train, playing an upright, beautiful harp. It looked like an ant, it was gorgeous. And he was wonderful with it. You could tell he was trained. And he was blue, 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 blue. And everyone was mesmerized. But I kept thinking, how the fuck you get it down here? Like, how the fuck? <laughs> I gave him flat dollars for labor. I'm like, dude, take that, buy a dolly. I'm here to help. But he was wonderful with it. He was awesome. He had, you know, he had his hat out in front of the, the harp and he's playing and people just dropping their dollars. Now this is where it gets interesting because as he's playing a harp, asking for our money through his talent, an actual homeless man walked onto the train. Now he was scraggly. He smelled, he had one shoe. He said, pot, excuse me, pot, excuse me, pot, and then he sees the dude playing a harp, and his reaction was awesome, because he stopped in his tracks, and he's like, really, man, a harp? You gonna bring a harp down here? True story, as he got off the train, he said, this motherfucker changing the game. Story. That didn't happen. <laughs> when comics say true story, ah, that was just one night with some good weed. <laughs> I was with my friend, he passed me the blood, and I, oh. I'm gonna write a joke about a harp. <laughs> he took the joint back and said, and put a homeless motherfucker in it. That's, that's the magic. That's what it is. Just don't guilt me, homeless people. Any homeless people here? Like, homeless? <laughs> Christine. Christine, is that my light? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any homeless people here? Okay, good. Um, just don't guilt me into giving you, you know what I mean? Like, I have my own problems. I understand. I see your plight. I see it. I was on the train like 4 o'clock in the morning. And he was homeless, dude. He was like carrying a baby, like a two-year-old. I'm just exploiting him. He's like, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to interrupt. I'm like, no, dude, no, 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 no. You don't, no, no. You, you don't, dude, you don't, like, listen. I would never think to exploit my son to get, well, he's 20, so that'd be weird, but. <laughs> my son is 20, six foot four. Could you, imagine, could you imagine I walk on a train asking for money with this fucking doof behind me? Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to interrupt. But my son wants to get a tattoo and start a record label. Whatever you can give will be greatly appreciated so I can buy him sunglasses to wear at night for no fucking reason.